Hi, I'm going to show you how to fix a defect. This is a finished table that we built in our shop, and uh, it already has one defect, and I'm going to put another one in right here. So if you've got a little something messing up the finish of your table, I'm going to show you how to repair it. Yeah, hit pause and we'll... it has a tip that looks like this. It's a brush tip. Um, and I like these quite a bit, but they do tend to dry out. I'd suggest really putting the cap on tightly and storing them upside down like this. So when you have your touch-up pen, what I do is uh, dab this on. They come in lots of different colors. I dab it on like that, and if it looks too dark, I can just kind of go over it with my finger a little bit like that. Now for a defect that's a little bit rough around the edges and you feel like it will, you know, it will catch your finger, I'll make this a little deeper so as to show you something that will, you know, that's kind of a sharp edge right there. And what I would do is take fine sandpaper, like 220 or 320, and I'm going to carefully just sand right there where it's sharp. Now that's touchable. And then we'll come along with our perfect brown touch-up pan, like so. dab it in there and rub it if it looks too dark. And that's good enough. Now we want to put some resin on top of this as a binder to make sure that that stays down and doesn't get wiped off with the next cleaning that this table might receive. So let's pause it. So I'll just use a little bit of walnut oil on that as a resin binder and just rub it in there like that and really get in there in that exposed new raw wood you might want to let it soak in and then later you wipe the excess off the top we're going to let it soak into that area. And um, here's some of the colors that the touch-up markers come in. They're all different colors. And this one's perfect brown, which seems like a good universal basic touch-up pen for most. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Okay, and since I use this perfect brown quite a bit, it's, you know, they get dried out. And sometimes they need to be revived a little bit. I've got a little bit of nail polish remover. And you can just let it, you know, soak up some of that for a minute. And that's a good way to revive them. And then you might want to turn that up right to get that, that fluid just uh, to roll around in there a little bit. But that will, that will certainly revive the pin so that it can make a mark again.
And you know that's good enough for a piece that has some distress marks in it anyway. Let's try and do the leg now. Come on over here. We've got we've got a, 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 a defect right here on the corner of the leg, which makes that look kind of raw right there. So again, let's just do what we were doing before. When you store these pins at home, I'd recommend putting a little electrical tape around the cap. I store mine that way. I have some electrical tape around the cap. That prevents it from drying out quite as fast. And also, you can put it in a little plastic bag. You're going to want to store these for some time and not just have them dry out on you. And then you want to do the same thing with the uh, walnut oil. Give it a good little dose of that and let it soak in. And then wipe the excess off the top and you're done.